How's it going there everyone? It's Mr. Zan over here bringing you guys another Mob Psycho 100 discussion. And for today's segment folks, I'm going to be talking about Mob Psycho episode 5. And now folks, this episode, I personally thought of it as a very, very entertaining episode guys. This episode really, it dwelt very deeply about Mob's own issues and how Teru's issues. It was like two personal ideals going against each other guys that's what the whole brink of the episode and the theme of this episode guys i felt as if it was it was self-control and and empower guys empowerment it was basically empowerment for oneself guys because of the fact that each person each psychic teru and mob they were basically trying to show the other person whose idea was stronger in the end guys and that's what the whole brink of the episode was basically about of course you know we're gonna get slight drama and you know very heavy on the action of course this episode very heavily emphasized on action guys because holy snap for the first time we're actually witnessing a fight that lasted the majority of the episode guys an actual fight in mob psycho was you know most of the time most of the fights you know they kind of end quickly because you know mob kind of decimates the freaking enemy in itself but this time it was kind of the complete opposite guys because the fact that mob actually when he fights teru he actually strays away from fighting throughout the whole entire fight he literally is not he's not even putting up a single punch yes he does gives a couple of swings over there but the majority of the fight he's literally just blocking he's just blocking 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 while teru was actually heavenly trying to annoy and pester and and trying to provoke mob into actually fighting him and that's what the majority episode kind of involved right there but then the later on in the episode it kind of heavily heavily then focused on why mob himself actually does not actually use his powers against other humans or people in general because of the fact that he can actually hurt someone that's how powerful mob is because the fact the author actually kind of is actually kind of implying the fact that mob is really destructive when it comes to his his own psychic powers that he can he doesn't even know the brink of his powers that it can actually cause so much pain towards others that mob has to dummy down his powers in order for him to actually have a normal lifestyle and that's what i thought to myself like holy snap this episode has so much meaning behind it that you're clearly you know when you overlook the battle scenes and dialogue you're like you're here wondering that like you're just amazed at the fact that how the author was trying to emphasize mob's own personal ideals and and how he's kind of trying to showcase them to his enemies it's kind it's kind of very interesting guys and personally i feel like every viewer once they're going to watch episode 5 guys you guys are going to be very entertained in itself guys personally i was very entertained i when you first watch that beginning of the episode and all the way to the end you guys are just going to be blued of course the beginning then the middle and then you know like the last final actual ending of the of the episode you know you kind of actually it kind of slows down because of you know because the fact that you know it was that rising climax throughout you know when you're getting throughout the whole entire episode but then when you reach the, the ending of the episode it kind of was very I wouldn't say anticlimactic, it, it's just that it was kind of a, a way of the author saying at the end of the episode how how Mob is actually, you know, he's still human. He's still going to be, he's trying to clearly emphasize, you know, Mob isn't a, a some type of creature that that is, you know, just just there trying to be destructive and trying to hold his powers. And, you know, he's, he's, he's still a human, guys, at the end of the day. And that's what the, at the end of the episode the author was trying to emphasize the fact because, holy snack, guys, Mob... Is still a normal kid. He's still a normal kid. He still gets sick. He still has feelings. He still he still falls in love. Like like I said, guys, he isn't a creature. And and that's what it's hilarious. The fact that throughout the whole entire fight, when Mob actually showcases his actual powers, he's actually shown to be a, a a powerful, I would say, a powerful entity in a class of himself. That it's actually not even no longer human, which is crazy in the fact that even a scared Taro himself that. It's something amazing that I love. Like I just keep like I'm gonna keep going back. Like I just love the way that the author was very emphasized. The episode is because of that, guys. It's like holy snap, you know. You're gonna be amazed at how the author is emphasizing Mob himself. It's just, it's just beautiful, guys. It's just that's just it, you know. Like like forget everything, man. It's just it's just beautiful. You gotta watch the episode, guys. That's just it. But nonetheless, guys, you know we're still gonna get through the bulk of the episode, you know, and in the episode as well, guys. You clearly are going to look at Dimple as well, guys. Dimple's character, you know, it's hilarious also at the same time. And how 
Dimple actually defended Mob. It's hilarious because, you know, in the beginning of the fight scenes, Mob actually was not, you know, trying to show his, you know, his full emotions. He wasn't in the fight. And I love the fact that Dimple got in the fight itself and he was actually trying to defend Mob. And you're here wondering, like, wow, you know, I can't believe Mob is actually trying, is actually being defended by freaking Dimple. I thought Dimple was out for himself, and of course it clearly emphasized that, that Dimple really was just looking out for Mob, saying, you know, oh, you know, of course Mob is not going to put up a fight against you, because you clearly are, are nowhere near his level, but, you know, if you really want to fight, fight me then. And it, I clearly personally thought, Dimple, that's your own way of expressing your own gratitude towards Mob, basically saying, you know what, it's kind of pathetic that this guy is actually picking a fight against someone who's not even putting a fight. Like, even Dimple saw it, that it, himself, that Mob wasn't the type of person to actually fight someone that is even against his caliber. That, that I thought to myself, like, wow, you know, Mob is, he's not condescending Teru, he's just trying to tell, he's just, he's basically warning Teru throughout the whole entire time, you know, I'm not going to use my powers against you, I actually might hurt you if I actually am serious. And, but Teru gets provoking. And I love the fact that, even though <laughs> Dimple was gone throughout the whole entire episode, they kind of emphasized that Dimple really did get excised, which I thought was very hilarious itself, because, Mob didn't really showcase any kind of emotion towards Dimple. Yes, it kind of raised his his, uh, his emotion meter just a little higher, but nonetheless, it's still kind of... Mob clearly stated, you know, I, I'm not really that fond of, of Dimple himself. But then, he looks back and says, you know, wow, Dimple was really actually looking out for me. And then throughout the end of the episode, he kind of says, you know what, oh, I actually miss Dimple. And like I said, the chemistry between Dimple and Mob, you know, it's it's growing. It's definitely growing, guys. And the chemistry between them was was very well balanced. And now, I'm kind of hoping to see if Dimple does come back as a recurring character at the end of the day. Because of the fact that, come on guys, who doesn't love Dimple? He's a very funny comic relief character and he's a very powerful entity. And we, and fans themselves are not going to get enough of him just throughout that whole entire episode. The previous episode and this episode itself, guys. I'm still hoping that he's still alive. But that was it for Dimple, guys. Now, moving on to Teru's character in this episode. Now, wow, I personally thought this character was arrogant and annoying throughout this time. Like, it was kind of like how I stated back in the previous episode. That how I felt that Teru's character development is going to be portrayed as someone who sees himself as a god complexity. But then at the end of the day, he's going to be showcased as you know, with a person that is literally no, nothing without his psychic powers. And you know what's hilarious? When I mentioned that, right at when I was watching this episode, Mob clearly expressed that towards Teru. And I was absolutely mind blown at the fact that Mob clearly stated that towards Teru. And Teru was annoyed at the fact that he was being called a normal guy or a below average guy because of the fact that he is actually also similar to Mob himself. And that, and it's funny too because these two actually do share very similar si similarities in itself that these two characters, there's nothing really different about them. It's just the way they're actually, you know, having their own social lives very different. Just that's the only difference. But no, nonetheless, these two characters are very similar in a sense. And I personally thought, wow, Mob is actually clearly expressing his own opinion on what, what kind of person Teru is. And throughout the episode, you clearly see that Teru is... He is clearly annoyed, and it's so hilarious also at the fact that Teru is still, he doesn't bite his tongue and turn the other way. It's just so hilarious that Teru does not give up. You know, he has a very a tenacious uh, freaking personality that it's clearly not, he doesn't take no for an answer. And Mob himself was clearly telling him, like, you know, you just need to back off, just back off. And you know, it's funny that in the fight, guys, against Teru, Mob and Teru, when their ideals are clashing, guys, you, it clearly shows that the episode itself was very powerful when clearly Mob and Teru were at each other's necks, guys. They were at each other's necks. And they weren't using no psychic powers. That's how you know the, the scene was very, it was portrayed very intense because of the fact that the author was trying to state that these two are just normal kids. They're just having a, a normal play fight. But, it, you know, when I saw that personal thing, in my own personal opinion, guys, I personally thought it was like two, like, Think of like a, a Napoleon Dynamite fighting Pedro. Think of something like that. Think of that, guys. I, I personally was just <laughs> awestruck when these two were actually clenching hands and just like just trying to tear each other apart. I thought of two middle school nerds going at it. And it's so hilarious because Mob even throws a slap at Teru. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm for laughing because the fact that you're, you folks are clearly going to enjoy that little scene because... 
Mob himself is, is, he is fighting back, but he's just clearly saying, you know, just back off, man, just back off. It's like two, two nerds going at it, guys, just, that's it, just, you know, two, you know, that stereotypical cliche, nerd fight, when they, they, they turn, they have their face turned away, and they're just like, nabbing at each other with their arms, you know, that's clearly what was happening in, in the fight itself, and I, I personally had a good, a good giggle there, guys, personally I did, but like I said, the episode was wonderful in its sense, guys, and I personally thought Mob's character development in this episode was very, was very emotional as well, guys, because even though through all of Terrorist Nation's activities and, you know, his, his tendencies towards provoking Mob throughout the whole entire episode, you know, it's Mob, it's Mob himself who was actually the, who was actually still developing in the episode, and we're clearly showcased that Mob himself, guys, is also, he has shown that this character, guys, he is so many to love, guys. You're gonna you're gonna feel empathy for freaking Mob here. He even cried at the end of the episode, and it, that that little scene, guys. I personally thought, like, wow, you know, it. His powers are based on emotions, right? Right. I'm right, right there, right? So when Mob clearly reached 100 percent this time again, it wasn't through rage itself, guys. This time it was through empathy, sadness, and and sympathy for Teru because Teru did not clearly understand the fact that you know Mob has his own destructive capabilities and that itself guys and that's how the episode kind of overall went guys that's how it clearly went and clearly guys you guys are going to clearly enjoy it but like I said folks that's it for today's segment folks clearly what let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this episode you guys think that what I said was right what was your funny moments too guys like I said there's so many funny moments throughout this whole entire episode there's so many one one moment that I did find hilarious and many viewers will find is the fact that Taro mentioned that he literally looked like an o Ochi Ochimusha Ochimusha yeah something clearly around the lines of that Sorry for mispronouncing it, but he was clearly saying that he was an Ochi Musa, and I thought to myself, that's true. That's actually true. You do kind of look like one because of the fact that you know you you look like someone that would actually, you know, you look like a wounded samurai, you know. And it's clearly showcasing that Teru literally looks like the type that he's, he just he just looks like a coward. He just looks like a coward. I swear, it's hilarious, guys. But like I said, guys, let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about this episode. What you guys did think about the overall theme of the episode, too. Like, clearly, like I said, it was just basically self-control. That's what I, I thought about this episode, guys. Another self-control and, and empowerment to oneself, guys. That's what I thought about this episode's theme. But like I said, guys, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys enjoy my content, guys, give a like, share, and subscribe. But this is Mr. Zen, signing out.